Welcome to QD Clinic brought to you by RoomNow.Live. This is the best meeting for NPs and their physicians to go to. Today's case is when to stop the anakinra. This case is a 43 year old male who has a diagnosis of adult onset stills disease and more recently OA of the knee or meniscal tear of the knee with some early OA changes. He was diagnosed over 10 years ago when he had the systemic onset of many features that made the diagnosis. High spiking fevers of 105, evanescent rashes, an itchy rash and hives, polyarthritis with swollen joints, many swollen joints, pleuritic chest pain, myalgias, sore throat, leukocytosis, hyperferonemia as high as I think 34,000, anemia, hypoalbuminemia, hypoalbuminemia uh, increased LFTs, he was seronegative for rheumatoid factor and ANA. He has ultimately developed fusion of his left wrist and he responded dramatically to steroids and then later to uh, anakinra, also known as Kinneret. Um, this gentleman has been managed over the last 10 years by me um, and he intermittently has had flares of his disease. So stills can be polycyclic or monocyclic. He's had polycyclic, polycyclic systemic disease cycles of inflammatory disease. Again, somewhere between um, 25 and 40% of patients after they've had their systemic disease will settle down into chronic inflammatory arthritis that gets treated just like rheumatoid arthritis. It's a seronegative RA polyarticular. Treat them with anything from gold, methotrexate, TNF inhibitors, whatever you want to use. Same thing you use in RA you would use in those people who have chronic articular disease. However, the cycles of systemic disease, fevers, rash, serositis, incredibly high white counts, ferritins, CRPs, all that kind of stuff, that needs steroids, methotrexate and an IL-1 or an IL-6 inhibitor. So in his recurrences of his systemic disease, 10 years ago and again four years ago, he received some, somewhere between six and 10 months of systemic therapy, the ones I just mentioned. He recently had a flare about a year ago, uh, actually around eight or nine months ago, and at the last visit, two months ago, I said it's time to go off the Kinneret. So what we did was we said, take the, just so you know, and your labs look good, and it looks like it's safe to stop, um, take the uh, Anakinra every other day for a month. He was very worried about this. Take it every, and actually I think I said a few weeks. Um, take it every three days for a few weeks. And if you are taking it every three days and there's no recurrence of disease, you can probably stop the drug. Well, he's back two months later, and he's still on the drug because he's worried. Because when he got out to three days, he just didn't feel like himself. He got a little sore throat, he was a little achy, and he thought his disease was coming back because those were the features he had when he first started. Did he make the right choice? No. He was dealing with worry symptoms and not the hard symptoms of systemic JIA or Stills disease. So it was explained to him that when you're going to, the great thing about Anakinra or, or Kinneret is that when you stop it, again, about I don't know, close to 100% of patients are gonna flare within three to seven days after they've stopped their Kinneret. And it's almost always around 72 hours. And they'll get the recurrence of the features they got when they started the disease, but importantly, they have to have the features of systemic disease. High fever, not a 99, 101.2, 100.2, I'm saying 102 to 106 fevers starting three days after or rashes, again, the evanescent rashes that come and go, including the itchy rashes, or swollen joints. They can start out with some tender joints, but they should become, uh, they should persist, they should not come and go, and they should be associated with swelling. Two out of three of those, and it should be backed up by the lab showing un inflammation ongoing. So that's when they know that their disease is still active. So let's look at this from the flip side. How do you know when to take them off therapy? Um, and I think you should look at all the symptoms. Do they have those systemic symptoms or not? And again, arthritis can be treated differently, but even arthritis can be counted. So if they have no fever, sore throat, rash, um, um, no joint pain and no joint swelling, and their labs are normal, white count's normal, CRP is normal, uh, set rate is normal, ferritin is normal, and aldolase is normal, many of these patients with an active inflammatory disease will have an elevated aldolase and a normal CPK. It's part of their liver activation. It's a very good biomarker, maybe the best biomarker in managing patients with adult stills or systemic JIA. So if all those are normal, now you have an open door on stopping therapy and you can wean them off the anakinra, just as I said, every two days for a few weeks, every three days for a few weeks, and then stop. 
But while you're doing that weaning, it might be good to give them the safety net of either taking acetaminophen, I like Tylenol arthritis, two or three pills a day, or a low dose of a non-steroidal or, or some anti-inflammatory, assuming they can take safely take an anti-inflammatory with or without PPI pr uh, protection, uh, and let them go off of it. Again, if they can go beyond a week and have no symptoms, they're scot free and clear. If they if symptoms recur after two or three weeks or two months or whatever, you might want to think rethink the diagnosis of Stills disease into something else, something else like traps or um, familial Mediterranean fever or something like that. You might want to rethink the diagnosis. But again, you should be able to go off. If all those clinical and lab parameters are normal, you should be able to stop. What if someone's on um, another drug like anakinra? First off, if they're on kinaret and anakinra and prednisone, the symptoms are going to recur within three days. If they're on Actemra, tocilizumab, or another IL-6 inhibitor, it's going to be longer. It's going to be more like four to six weeks before they get that same flare. Again, fever, prodromal sore throat, uh, serositis, um, swollen joints, uh, rash that comes and goes. Again, a visible rash that comes and goes. Uh, those are the features of Stills disease in the systemic phase being active. So in our fellow's case, he was not having a flare of systemic disease. His labs were normal when we checked them. Uh, he is being told to stop his kinaret today, and I put him on meloxicam 7.5 once a day or twice a day. He already takes Prilosec, um, and he should do fine going forward. There are more elaborate and investigative ways looking for an IL-1 signature um, with microarrays. That's been very helpful for us here, but that's not commercially available. Um, this was an easy case for me because I see a lot of this, but this is hopefully good information for you. Tune in for more QD videos.